You know, Tiger has hit so many good shots that uh, when you get asked what's your, your favorite Tiger shot or the most impressive one, it's kind of hard to answer. Boy, there's been a lot of them. Of the 10 greatest shots I've ever witnessed in my life, that I've ever been there to see, he has 12 of them. My favorite Tiger shot's on, on his video game. Because he hits it like 400 yards and... <laughs> Gotta be very happy with this shot. And he makes all these noises and, and he's just way more animated than he is in person. So. Wonderful shot. It was really dark out. The sun was getting ready to go in, and they were just trying to get finished, so they wouldn't have to come back on Monday. And there were people with flashlights around the last, last green, kind of trying to, it was like being at a concert, trying to light, light it up so they could see. Tiger hits a shot from out of the left rough behind trees to a back left pin placement that I, I believe maybe Jim Nance or uh, uh, I'm not sure who else was in the tower with Jim, but I think they said it's maybe the greatest shot they've ever seen, and it's still, uh, it's always vivid in my mind. I looked out the tower. We're sitting right above the 18th green. I cannot even see the flag stick. And that was a hard shot to do in daylight. To do it in the dark, that was pretty impressive. The one I actually saw in person, and I've seen so many on television, was the seven iron out of the rough on the sixth hole at Pebble Beach during the Open. He was in the rough in the first hit. And the second, he used a seven iron. Land on the green that nobody think that he can do it. And he did. He made a birdie. They said nobody can do it. No other pro can do it. No way he could do it, and he did it. The putt he made at the 17th hole of the Tournament Players Club, about a 40-foot putt that broke four different ways, found the cup. He was way down in the field, close to the last. And everybody had missed that putt. It had three, about four or three or more breaks. It was a putt. You could drop a small bucket of balls there and not make it again. And he started the ball way over here, and then that ball started curving, curving, curving. managed to hold it as he does now and again, but uh, you know the roar that went up and everything, it was, it was, uh, it was fantastic. Here he is, 200 yards in a sand trap. And if I remember very well, the green obviously is very small. Of course, it's on the 18th hole. The green is small, and in front, there's water. No problem for Tiger, right? He hit this shot, and it, 
it seemed like it was forever over the water. And when it landed, it landed right next to the pin and rolled to the apron. And he made putter for eagle and made birdie and won the tournament. You know, those are the type of shots that he can hit when you least expect it, and that's what makes it so exciting. Uh, that's probably, you know, the, the shot that sticks out. Not the hole in ones, things like that. Because to hit a, a 600, 214 yards out of a bunker over a lake onto a small green, This kind of just shows you what kind of guy he is. He's pretty fearless. And, uh, you know, his uh, one thought on his mind is winning. And, uh, yeah, that, that was pretty impressive. His ball's over on the left side of the bunker. He's got to stand out of the bunker. He's got 210 yards uphill, left to right wind, pulls out some kind of three or four iron and hits this unbelievably hooking, perfect shot. It was the most remarkable piece of athleticism I've ever seen on the golf course. The fact that he was able to mold himself to the slope, to, to hook it off the hanging lie. That shot took power, took balance, took control and immense strength. I mean, absolutely uh, powered that ball out. A dead shot. And uh, the ball went up on the green, and the best part is I made the putt. Tiger continually amazes me. talking about for 30 years. And he still hasn't stopped. 